By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to build your own voice agent with Retail AI. The best prompt, the best settings, and your agent's own phone number. Nice to meet you too, Alejo. What brought you to Amplify Voice today? My name is Alejo. I've been an AI engineer for seven years and co-founder of Amplify Voice, where we build voice agents for businesses using their brand voice. I'm here to share everything I know with you, but for you to effectively learn, it's been proven that learning in community is so much more effective. That's why we created a school community where you can get a free trial today to take the prompt, the settings, and everything else that I'm gonna show in this video. I host four live sessions a week to cover all your questions from building to selling to deploying voice agents in the real world. So come be part of this family of amplifiers. I'll see you there. Now let's get into it. Number one, creating an account in Retail AI is very easy. You'll just do some multi-factor authentication with your phone number and your email when you log in for the first time. And you'll see a dashboard like this one, but a little more empty for now. To create an agent, you have two options, which is importing using a agent file, which I'll share with you in the school link below, or creating an agent from scratch. You'll see that you have several options. The important one that you wanna focus on is single prompt. Multi-prompt, conversation flow, and custom LLM are great, but the important thing right now is that you launch your first agent using retail. And the next few videos will increase the level of sophistication. Today, we're gonna to build an inbound appointment center. First, you're gonna see a dashboard like this one with a lot of options, but don't worry, it can be overwhelming, but I'll make it very simple for you. My objective with this short video is to get you going fast as opposed to show you every possible option. There's gonna be a video in the future for that. So here are my recommendations for you. For LLMs, very straightforward. We usually go with GPT-4.0 or GPT-4.1. For voice, Retail gives you three different options, 11 Labs, PlayHD, and OpenAI. I recommend 11 Labs voices. They're very reliable. And you get to choose from a bunch of different options with the settings already optimized for these specific voices. So thank you, Retail, for saving us the trouble. I usually like going for the voices Hope or Piper. I really like those voices. And you can also test them and find the one you like the most. Moving on, you do get the option for multilingual speech in 10 different languages, but for now, we're just gonna keep it English. And then in this big box, that's where we're gonna paste in the prompt. I wanna show you our agent in action so you get a feel for what it sounds like, and then I'm gonna give you the answers of how we make it sound so natural. So we're gonna click on test agent. Hi, how are you? Hi there, I'm doing great, thanks for asking. I'm Saya, your go-to for all things voice AI. Who am I speaking with today? Hey, I'm Alejo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Alejo. What brought you to Amplify Voice today? What are you looking to achieve? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I own a mortgage lending company and um, I was just hoping to to get some help. We, we've been having this issue where you know, leads come in, but they're also going to our competitors and, and we keep losing them. So I figured that maybe a voice agent could capture them first before, you know, before we are able to get to them. Got it, Alejo. That's a common challenge and it's exactly where voice AI can shine. Our voice agents can instantly engage leads, follow up, and even book appointments for you so you don't lose them to competitors. The best next step would be a quick no pressure chat with our CEO of Alejo, who can show you how this could work for your business. Oh, how he has the sound? same name as me. That's cool. Uh, yeah, sure. That, that sounds good. Uh, when can I meet him? Haha, <laughs> name twins. All right, Alejo has availability on weekdays before 8 p.m. Eastern. What date, time, and time zone works best for you? Yeah, can we go with like noon Pacific tomorrow? Let me see if that time's available. It seems I need your email address to finalize the booking. Could you share that with me? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, alejo at amplifyvoice.ai. Let me see if that time's available. Mm-hmm. You're all set for your call with Alejo tomorrow at noon Pacific. You'll receive a confirmation email shortly. Is there anything else I can help you with today? There we go. Booking made, got the email and uh, all set up. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's walk through what just happened and how did we make that happen? Number one, LLM. We use GPT-4.0 and GPT-4.1. Number two, 
the voice. The voice is very expressive and it's like having a fun conversation with me. That is very powerful and we prefer using 11 Labs voices. You also get uh, options for PlayHD and OpenAI. Unfortunately, OpenAI voices are, are still a little clunky, but PlayHD and 11 Labs are great options. Then you can choose the language. If you're, if you're in the UK, you can choose UK, English or honestly many other languages. Uh, multilingual also speaks in 10 languages, but for now we'll stick with English US. So let's look at what you actually came here for. Understanding the prompt and understanding the functions, actually booking an appointment. First role, we are clarifying who is the agent and what is its role in this company. Then we have personality where we can add a bit of that tone and that vibe. Context is what is the agent doing and task is what is the agent's goal. In this case, booking no pressure discovery call between the caller and Amplify Voices CEO Alejo. But that's not what the prompt says, right? What, what are these double curly brackets? That's what we call variables. Actually, we call them dynamic variables. We're actually inserting the values for these variables right before the call happens. And I'm going to show you in a second where exactly I do that. And then you can go this on your own time or watch the longer video that I'm going to release breaking all of this down. But these specifics make sure the agent has some constraints and some way of doing things. For example, it'll try to book the appointment with the uh, time and time zone that the agent suggests. But if that time is unavailable, we can use this other function. And I'm going to show you these functions and how to make them in just a second. And finally, for specifics, we're giving it awareness of the time. In this case, we're giving it awareness of the New York time zone which is a really cool feature that, that retail has. The last three sections are stages where we walk through the flow of the conversation and then the example interactions. These are actually even more powerful than giving an agent a script that it has to say word by word. And the secret is in the angled brackets we explained earlier in specifics that these are variables. So the conversation has flexibility. And that's what we want. If the user shares interest in voice AI or if the user explains their business needs, it's not exactly the user said this. So you say that that's not what makes an agent flexible. It's actually giving that variability in what the user could say that's giving the agent the power of flexibility. So we have those example interactions. And then finally, we add the begin. You are now receiving an inbound call from someone interested in learning more about Amplify Voice. Moving on, the welcome message. You see how the agent actually waited for me to speak before it started speaking. You can change that. You can start with a predefined message that you just write out or have the agent come up with its own first message or what I prefer, uh, the AI remain silent until the user speaks first. So the conversation goes on and I'm ready to book an appointment, right? How do I do that? I'm going to do that with functions. Fortunately for you, retail already added the important ones by default, which are booking an appointment, checking calendar availability, transferring the call, ending a call and navigating an IVR. That's not everything you'll ever want to do with voice agents. You can add custom functions, which we'll see at different time. But right now we're focused on you building your first inbound appointment setter. So you'll see that these functions have a name that you can set in this case, book underscore appointment and a description. When users ask to book an appointment, book it on the calendar. Answer with, let me see if that time's available and nothing else. You see how this description actually gives the LLM some understanding on when and how to use it. And when we look into this book appointment function, it's actually already built for you and it's with cal.com. You can go ahead and create an account. It's super easy. It's free. And the two pieces of data that you need is the API key and the event type ID. First, for the event type ID, you can click on an event or create a new one. And when you go to the settings in the URL, you'll see this number. That is the one you want. And you're just going to copy paste it into event type ID. Uh, an API key you can get by going to settings. And at the bottom, API keys. And you can just create a new one. Test, expiration date never expires. Bam. And you can copy, paste. And that is how you already set up your agent to book appointments directly into your calendar. So how does it know when you have availability and when you don't? You can just add your calendar. Hey, I want to add my Google Calendar. 
bam and it'll be able to see everything that's happening in my own calendar and so i don't get double booked very powerful and it's the simplest implementation of appointment booking i've ever experienced same thing with check calendar availability when user asks for availability check the calendar and provide available slots what we've covered so far is literally 80 percent of everything you'll ever need to know about building a voice agent these are the parts that you really need to master building a prompt and building functions for that agent I'm going to walk you through the rest of the dashboard, but remember the 80% is working on functions and prompts. Nevertheless, some of your clients might ask you to include a knowledge base. Maybe you had a lot of documents that are very relevant to the conversation. Well, this is where we would add them. Again, add new knowledge base. So it'll lead me to this page to add a new knowledge base. I click on plus, I can add the name of the knowledge base and then just start adding documents you can also add web pages or upload files or just copy paste the text manually very very powerful in this case i'm gonna go with our own website and give the agent awareness of that website and we can even auto sync web pages every 24 hours which is really cool in this case we're not going to do it and click save okay awesome so now when we go back and refresh the page we'll be able to add this knowledge base to our agent. Check it out. Knowledge base, I click on add and I'll be able to see the tutorial knowledge base. Great, so that my agent will have now that information. Speech settings. Most of the default settings are really good. Moving us along. What information do you wanna extract from this call? Maybe I wanna find out whether the appointment was booked. The appointment booked. True, if appointment was successfully booked, false there we go and you can keep track of a bunch of different information you can give it options to select from you can give it a true or false a number or a piece of text that you want for example date and time date time of booking and then you explain you know uh this is the date and time of the uh appointment booked a monday april 20th at say 15 hours Eastern. Bam. So you're giving it a format example that then it can follow. And that's how you can extract information from the call and then use. Use where? So we're going to jump to webhook settings. And this is where the information during and after the call will be sent. This is any type of webhook. So let me show you how to get it from make.com. You can click on webhooks and then custom webhook. And you'll see the address. Once you add it, test bam and you're getting copy address to clipboard and you just paste it right there so at the end of the call this information is going to be sent to this webhook then you can use that information throughout your scenario to put it into a crm into a google sheet etc same thing with n8n you can um on webhook call run it this is a post that's the one thing you have to change and then you just click on it it'll copy automatically and you can just paste it right there so this is where your information is going to be sent and that's where your call summary and analysis including these little variables are going to be sent and if you're interested in finding out the real power of webhooks and custom functions i did a whole deep dive building an ai hotel receptionist in the video that i'm linking above it's a whole 75 minutes so if you're ready to dive deep that's the video for you and last but not least we actually skipped over security and fallback settings this is where i make that magic of the agent got having awareness of its own name saya the company name, Amplify Voice, and the owner name, Alejo. But these are fallbacks. You can actually enter these dynamically based on who's calling. Check a CRM and then input the name of the person that's calling. For outbound, when you're calling somebody else, you can do the same. Even add more information that you have about the person. The more context that the agent has, the better it'll perform. And then fallback voice ID is simply if Eleven Labs has a hiccup, which sometimes happens, which voice should be used instead. In this case, we're choosing Play HT and choosing a voice from these. We like Simo. It sounds very natural, sounds very good. So those are all the settings that I recommend for you. So you save time and increase effectiveness, especially as you're starting out. So before you go, I'm going to leave you with the best tool that Retool gives you. And it's the test LLM. You can have a conversation and see 
everything that is happening while it's happening. For and what date, time, and time zone? Tomorrow, 3 p.m. Mm -mm -mm, 3 p.m. Eastern. So you saw doing in, in audio and obviously you should be testing your voice agents in audio, not only in text, because at the end of the day, they're going to be in audio. And this is something funny that it did. So it uh, tried to book the appointment and it got the result that that uh, time is not available. So you see here that you can see inside of the function calling. This is why this is my favorite tool that uh, retail gives you to build voice agents because you can see what is happening in real time with your voice agents. Um, it seems that time is unavailable. Alejo has openings on Thursday, Friday, 2 p.m., uh, Monday, 3 p.m. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So it's taking a little bit. It's probably running a tool in the background. It tried to book that appointment and uh, we need email error, error required field. Okay, cool. So it looks like you, I need your email address to finalize the booking. Could you share that with me? Sure. Um, I'm going to spell it out like I spelled it out while speaking. And you saw in the transcript in the test audio that it did actually a pretty good job at it. Uh, and now it's going to run the appointment setting, uh, the book appointment one more time. And you're all set for your call with Lejo next Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern. You'll receive an email confirmation shortly. And let's check on bookings. And we'll see in the bookings for next Monday, 3 p.m. between Amplify Voice and Alejo. Awesome, awesome, cool. And that's all you need to know. Now that we know that the agent works and it works like we wanted it to, let's buy a phone number because that's where your agent's going to live, right? It can also live on a website, but for the purposes of you being able to launch and start your agency, let's uh, we'll buy one from Tulio. Okay, so that's our new phone number. You can choose whether the agent is going to live inbound as an inbound agent or an outbound agent or both. You get the option of both. And keep in mind that when you do this for the first time up here, you're going to see a verify identity. And that's very important to do early to make sure that you can do outbound calls with your account. So I can now call this number. Hello. Hi there. Thanks for reaching out to Amplify Voice. I'm Saya. Who am I speaking with? Where's like a charm? There you go. Now it's your turn to go build your inbound appointment setter. And this is important, not if, but when you face issues and when you face errors that you don't know what to do about, learning in community is so much better. And that's why we built the Amplify Voice AI community, where there's a ton of builders building all kinds of cool things with Voice AI. And we are building a map for you, a roadmap that we just had the first live session for, and you'll be able to see all of those lessons in the classroom. So. Go in there and I'm excited to meet you. My name is Alejo and remember to never stop prompting.